get this feeling racing through my veins, this rush. I never get enough. I'm never satisfied. I race to win, and that's my purpose. something that belongs to me. Yep, yep, that's what I was thinking. But you know what, tonight is your lucky night because I'm gonna give you a little something to help take the dust off your windshield. Ooh. No, you like a dusty windshield? That's fine. You know, different strokes for different folks, so have a good night. Bottoms up, fellas. Woo! Racing fuel. fuel. No, no, no. Why do you like that? I think it's your shot. Is it ever going to be my shot? Pretty impressive race tonight. Thanks. So, I hear you're the car to beat these days? Yeah, with... 444 cubic inches, top of the max wedge cross ram, pushing 11 one compression, not to mention a hydraulic roller cam. That's uh, pretty much the car to be. So, does it have a back seat? Joseph, we gotta go. your boy? He don't look like much. Yeah, well, he's the best driver in the state. Possibly the country. Really? So I'm standing in the presence of greatness. <laughs> we'll see. As discussed, this will be a race for $10,000. I'll send you a text message one hour prior to the event, which will take place at 7 o'clock on Tuesday. This is business. I expect to see you and you alone. I don't want any cheerleaders standing around causing you extra attention. When the event is over, the winner will take the prize, and the deal will be done. You understand? You got it. Did he say, did he say best in the state? Best in the country? Who are you kidding, Slim? Huh? You know what I see here? I see an overzealous punk who thinks he's got it all figured out. He thinks that after he finishes this one, he's gonna stack up, that he's gonna, he's gonna matter. But it doesn't work that way because racing is no place for wannabes. It's not in your DNA, okay? You don't have it. Your old man didn't have it. That's why he's not here anymore. Save it! Save it! I hope your launch time's faster than your reflexes. Otherwise, I'd stay at home and save yourself some embarrassment. Tuesday, 7 o'clock, cash in hand. Yeah, we got it.
ever gonna get your own place, man? Nah, man. Free food, rent, laundry. Please. Those socks kill me. So, how you feeling after last night? Oh, he's gonna regret that. Got something for us? That's how we're doing this? Santa Claus? <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Merry Christmas. Push of a button and boom. That's what boom. I'm talking about. Yeah. Boom, baby. Yeah. Uh-huh. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. No, you two trying to big time me. Street racing. Snowman talking. You want to race? Put it on the track. Put it on the track. All right? Well, we know. Yeah, you know. What do you know? I don't want to hear nothing later. I don't want to hear nothing, uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, newspaper, nothing, all right? Yeah. All right. Get out of my store. Is that it? That's it. That's the speech. Go. Come on. One second. Quick question. Am I on the naughty list? Right here. Solid. On the list. Come on. Let's go. All right. Next time I got the milk and cookies. Top of the list. Out of my store. Let's do it. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, go! Woo! Lucky socks, what you got, man? 11-10, Big Daddy. I like the sound of that. Let's push it. Ten seconds. Line's right here. You start this, we'll finish it. I don't feel good about this. This could drop at any moment. It might get slick out there. Then you better hurry up. Okay, but I just don't feel good about it. Hey. I've got this. Let's go. Get out of here. Okay, oh. okay, okay. Hey, good luck. Let's do this!
Joseph, as we've discussed, the injuries from your accident have left you with significant trauma to your L2 and L3 vertebrae. We call this a class three spinal cord injury. Unfortunately, with an injury like this, the chances are you'll never walk again. Mr. Jenkins. My name is Josie Rigsby. I'm your physical therapist. That's okay. Today is just an opportunity for us to get to know one another. We'll get to the tough stuff later. Look, you've been through a lot, so you're off the hook. I'll see you soon. You have a visitor. Hey, man. Page me if you need anything, okay? So what's in the bag? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, they told me you might be here for a while, so I thought I'd bring you a couple things from your apartment. <laughs> There's some other stuff in there, too. Oh, yeah, and I got you... appreciate this, but I'm done with it. Dude, this is a Superstock Crossram Hemi. It's very nice. 
but I don't want it. I know, but it's got a real detail. Look at it. Can you put some fuel on the Trace, thing? get it out of here. I just thought that it... You thought what? You thought what? That a constant reminder of everything that was taken away from me might somehow cheer me up? What are you thinking? I don't want it. I'm sorry. I died out there, all right? Yeah, well, you're still here. Half. Look, why don't you just get out of here, all right? I almost forgot. side of engine block. Okay, okay. Uh, sorry if I woke you. Yeah. Found this all banged up. Hope you don't mind. It looks nice. Guess you're never too old to try something new. Uh, you like you got pretty banged up there. You get yourself into a quarrel with a squirrel. <laughs> And we're gonna be cooped up here for a few weeks. Just you, me, and the Almighty. Might as well get to know each other. My name is Elijah Benjamin Salisbury. Not to be confused with the steak, although that is my favorite food in this institution. Jello is not bad either, but I suggest you take a pass on that meatloaf. <laughs> You sure are one for conversation. What can I help you with, Joseph? Joseph, Joey, Jojo, Jaber, JJ, Dynamite. <laughs> what is it? I want to be moved to another room. Well, I can't do that right now. Why not? All the other rooms are full. If you wanted me to be quiet, Jay Byrne, all you had to do was ask. I'm sorry, Miss Amy, won't be any more trouble. You just let me know if you need anything else, okay? I'm just gonna mind my own. I'll do me and you do you. I'm just gonna get back to putting this here engine together. Hmm. Mr. Jenkins. We have you scheduled for physical therapy. Mr. Jenkins. Mm. <laughs> Joseph. Look, I'm doing my best. But you're going to have to meet me at some point here. Your life is over, Joseph. Your old life. That is.
Excuse the mess. Don't really spend much time in here. Much less time to clean. I don't typically bring patients to my office. My first three years here, I kept a scrapbook. Of all the patients I got to know, and I guess I felt like maybe I made a difference in their life. Everyone in this book went through an experience just like yours, where in an instant, it all changed. To some, they thought they were lost causes. But each and every one of them ended up doing some amazing things. This is Kate. She was 22. Four days after her college graduation, she lost her leg. She got a great job, got married, and is now pregnant with her second baby. This is Jake. He's a murder ball champion. He's for the Carolina Crash. This is Meredith. She's a mom, has three kids, a husband. It was a lost cause if there ever was one. She became an author. She's currently working on her third novel. All of these people are much worse off than you. Joseph, they went on to do great things. You can too. When I wake up, I get this emptiness inside. I have the yearning to feel the rumble of a big block V8. The dead calm right before the flag comes down and three Gs are pushing on me as I go from zero to 120 miles per hour. It was more than what I did. It was a part of me. How am I gonna get that back? What could you possibly do to help me. Cement 196A fuel manifold, the filter, then sub symbol number 202 connector, cement the fuel pump line to the fuel pump, and fuel manifold, the heck is a fuel manifold? It's what distributes the fuel to each of the carburetors. Uh-huh, he speaks. You know what, JJ? I knew you'd come around. Yeah, well, I just can't believe it's taking you this long to finish building that engine. Well, maybe I'm just not what you call a car person. Gearhead. Say what? A gearhead, a person into modifying cars, hot rods, engines, anything mechanical. Uh-huh, not my baseball. Ask me anything you want to know about the game, I can tell you. San Francisco's own Barry Bonds broke the all-time single-season home run record when he hit 73, which broke the 70 mark, set by St. Louis Cardinals first baseman Mark McGuire in 1998. See, what did I tell you? <laughs> well, I guess you're not into baseball. Nope. But go on. Anything to pass the time in this place. Well, when you've been in here as long as I have, Figure out all kinds of ways to pass the time. Well, it doesn't look like I'm going anywhere anytime fast, so. Well, I guess I could show you uh, the list. The list? Mm hmm. A collection of the best time killers, each one personally tested and perfected. I'd like to get a copy of that. Son, I said I'd have to show you. You got your bearings on that thing yet? 
I think I can manage. Well, I'll tell you what, why don't you just strap yourself in and follow me? Looks clear. Come on, son, I thought you were a race car driver. Be good. This here, it's about my favorite place in all of God's creation. Thinking in the back of your mind, this might be the last beautiful thing you ever see. <laughs> and that would be all right with me. Hey, Eli. Thanks. Well, never you mind, J Train. It's my pleasure. Oh, oh. Yes, yes, yes. Ah. The good stuff. <laughs> you really know your way around here. I've been in and out of these places for the last 40 years. You just gotta find a way to keep yourself entertained. 40 years? I can't imagine. Since about my senior year of high school, I was the biggest thing on campus, too. All-star pitcher. I had the state record in strikeouts. Everybody knew I was destined for the big leagues. Had scouts knocking on my door every other day. Mm -hmm. That, uh, my prom date that year was Sally Wilcox. Prettiest thing you ever seen. Nice, too. <laughs> Might say we were a perfect match. I drove to her house that night, picked her up, parked the car, headed up to the house. Heard the screams even before I got to the door. And Sally's daddy was a drunk. And he liked to beat on her, a secret she had kept for many a year. I charged at the door, pulled him off, and wrestled him to the ground, gave him a couple of licks. It ended. Got Sally to the car, dressed all torn and bloody. And Put her in the passenger seat. I was about to close the door and felt a burning sensation in my back. And then another and another. And there it was. Shot three times in the back, never to walk again. And left with a heart that's barely hanging on after all these years. But my number is finally up on the transplant list. How'd you do it? It's about faith, but it wasn't all bad. Sally's daddy ended up in, in the pen, and after a couple of years, me and Sally got married. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> now that's a story. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I was upset about it for quite a while. <laughs> yeah, but in time, I, I come to realize you got to get right or you're gonna get left. <laughs> What's that mean? Let me put it to you this way. Every man runs a race, and at the end of the race, there's a prize. For some, it's money, fame, glory. But most things don't last forever, and not all races end at the finish line. So you gotta ask yourself, what am I racing for?
Hey, kiddo. Hey. Hey, mister. What's your name? J Joseph. What happened to you? Miles, get over here and leave that man alone. We brought you some food. Mmm. Mmm, smells heavenly. Mm. You bring the cornbread. Oh, I got it right here. <laughs> Jojo, let me tell you, you want to get in on this right here, I'm telling you. No, nah, I'm good. Oh, that's nonsense. Just nonsense. Boy, come here, mind your granddaddy and give this to Mr. Joseph. Boy, I tell you, you're still as stubborn as the day we met. Takes a strong man to stand my husband. You're going to be in my prayer, son. Pastor had a great message today. Good. Oh, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. It was, it was good. great. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. It was boring. Miles. You better watch it. Okay, Mama, jeez. Excuse me, what did you say? I mean, yes, ma'am. <laughs> That's what I thought. All right, enough of this. I'm famished. Let's eat. Come on, let's bow our heads. Gracious Father, we, we thank you for this day, for this family, and for new friends. May we realize, Lord, that you give strength to the weak. Lord God, you are the healer of the broken. Father, we ask that you give us strength during these difficult times. Jesus, we ask that you forgive us for not trusting in you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for every new breath. Let us not take for granted the short time we have left here. May each and every moment from this point forward be a reflection not of who we were, Lord, but of who we are today. To you be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. You all set? Yep. It's been real, J Train. Yeah, it has. Thanks for keeping me busy. No problem. Don't be a stranger, huh? I won't. Ride. Dude, it's free. Okay. No, I've got this. I need to do it. Okay.
Sorry about the car, Dad. You ought to be sorry. That car raced for two seasons. Two seasons without so much as a scratch. Then you get in it, you flip the thing over. That old Max Wedge made 525 horsepower. We broke the record at Indy. It was 1121 at 121 miles an hour. And we went on to win the event. But still, it was nothing like that day. Now that was a moment to remember. We'd just taken home the 1990 championship. We were the unbeatable team, they used to call us, your dad and I. Uncle Paul? <laughs> yeah, Uncle Paul. That's what you used to call me back then. Mind if I sit down? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. That was the last race in the old Cuda. He ran straight and hard, but the next season we got a new car, started running pro stock. I remember. Yeah, well, I bet you're probably wondering why I'm here. Thing is, I've been trying to get the courage to come and see you ever since you had the accident. I didn't have the strength for that, and I'm sorry. You don't owe me anything. No, no, I, I think I at least owe you an explanation. For what? About the crash that took your father. What's to explain? First round of the qualifying, car got out of shape, he collided with a sidewall. Right? Your father told me that he felt like the back end was shaking so much that it was going to come out of the front end. And I tried every adjustment I could think of, the four length, the rear shocks, everything. And I'd never quite figured it out, but still, I insisted that he go on and make a full run and keep his foot in it, and you know the rest. After that day, I drank myself into oblivion. I lost everything I ever had, and I never forgave myself. The reason I'm here is because I need you to forgive me. Joseph, I should have been there for you. I wasn't, and I am truly sorry for that. So? You said that uh, the most horsepower you got out of that uh, Max Wedge was 525? And that was on a good day. We got her up to 625 on the dyno. 625? 625. <laughs> Looks like it's clearing up a little bit. You want to go get some fresh air? That sounds good. 625. 625. Ha! There's something you don't see every day. 1932 Cadillac V16. They stopped making those babies just before World War II. Of course, right here is the uh, Ford Flathead V8. Preferred power plant of hot rodders everywhere. This place is incredible. Yeah, well, I got something else I want to show you. Hang on. Pro stock engine. Just like what Dad ran. Hey. Ta-da! <laughs> this isn't real. Dad's Barracuda? Yeah, I don't have the heart to sell him. Amazing. <laughs> Adrenaline. Perfect name, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah. Hey, stride and true, battle scarred, that's for sure. Hadn't been running over 20 years, but I think with a few tweaks here and there, he'd be just fine. Wheelie bars, Lex and windows, that's a tube chassis, right? Yes, it is. See that button on the steering wheel? Tyranny brake. <sighs> what I do to feel a kick like that? Well, I do just happen to know a guy who knows a guy. I'm that guy. There you go. <laughs> Figured next time I seen you, you'd be in a wooden box. No, I wouldn't do that to you. You'd miss me too much. Is that right? That is right. <laughs> so who's your friend here? Come on, take a closer look. Ronnie's boy, Joey. Joey? Shoot, boy. You've seen better days than I reckon. You gotta forgive Benny. He's not much for conversation. It kind of confuses him. Hey. All seriousness. 
Your daddy was a great driver. You should let him test out here. <laughs> Seen better days, I guess. No, it looks about the same. <sighs> now that's nostalgia, boy. <laughs> what y'all doing all the ways out here anyway? Came out here to teach this young fella how to drive again. What? What? You said you wanted to feel the kick, right? There's no better place to feel the kick than right here on the track. I think you're missing a pretty important piece here. Look, all I want to do is get you back into a car so you can get the feel for it. I'm not talking about breaking any land speed records, but I do want you to adjust to something new. This is the best place you want to learn to drive. You don't have to race again, but you do have to be self-sufficient. You're out of your mind. That may be. Do you have something I can put him in? Okay, this is obviously a whole different car than you're used to. Tell me something I don't know. I want to start by working on your coordination. Yeah, I got it. I'm thinking we go a whole lot faster if you actually start the car. Pull it up to the line, nice and easy. Oh, he's lost his dang line for sure. I can't watch this. It's okay. Don't worry about that. Back up. God. You got this. Just try it again. Let's go. No way. I can't do this. You don't have a choice. You're gonna do it. We're gonna crash. If we crash, we crash. Now on three. You ready? One. No. No. ran that track like 30 times. Finally had to stop when the sun went down. That's incredible. I, I can't believe it. That's great. Yeah, it was great. Just great. Maybe one day you'll get a page of my scrapbook. Hmm. That was just for fun. Felt good, though. Well, you only have a few more visits with me. I'd say I've helped you just about as much as I can. Got any plans this weekend? I... Uh, um, or, or not. I, there's a points race tomorrow, and I just thought, uh, yeah. Yeah, so I'll go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been to a race like this in a long time. Everything's the same, though. The sounds, the smells. Everything. Miss it. Never thought I would, until now. I grew up on the track. Every weekend, this was my world. Nitro fumes, burnt rubber, popcorn with butter. Extra butter for me. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> loves extra butter. <laughs> I know the feeling. I, I had a place like that that mom took me to when I was growing up. Yeah? Yeah. What was that like? You don't want to know. I do. Tell me. <laughs> don't make fun of me. I won't. My mom used to take me to this place called Mary's Gone Mad. Basically, this lady one day just started painting everything in her house, like everything inside and outside of her house, windows, toilets, kitchen sinks, you name it, she was painting it. People in the community started finding out about it and just would show up to see what she was doing. What? She built this, this chapel, like a, a full-on chapel out of glass bottles in her front yard. I don't believe it. Which I have to say was incredible. <laughs> I don't believe it. Well, I will just find you a picture then. I'm gonna need to see it. Because it's amazing. Okay. <laughs> 
So what about your mom? I never knew her. She died when I was born. And my dad raised me until I was 12 years old. And he died. And then I was in and out of foster care until I was 18. But luckily for me, though, Trace and I kept in contact. And as soon as I was out, it was like I never left the neighborhood. He's a good friend. He seems like it. <laughs> They're spinning the wheels to get the tires hot and sticky, so it'll have better traction on the track. Put your earplugs in. Huh? Put your earplugs in, quick! Ah! Oh! That's so much louder than I expected! That's a rush, for sure. Was that fun? Yeah. <laughs> New newcomer Jason Skinner pulls up to the line in the final round of the night. He's had, He's had a great season so far, and finishing up very well in his class. Here to play, there's no doubt about it. If he pulls it off today, it'll be his third straight win. Did he say, did he say best in the state, best in the country? Who are you kidding, Slim? Racing, racing, racing. there's no place for one apiece. It's not in your DNA, OK? Your old man didn't have it. You don't have it. You never will. Joseph. I want to race again. I can work hard, really push myself. Hey, 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 slow down, slow down. What, what are you talking about? There's a race in three weeks. I want to do this. I'm going to do this. Are you absolutely sure? Yes. Uh, meet me at the track in the morning. I'll be there. Oh, boy. Got something for you. No way. Way. How'd you get this? No, oh, I figured your dad would want you to have it. This is legit. All right. This is it. Trace, get my helmet. Wait. H hold on a second. Am I missing something here? I'm gonna race again. How? He's been practicing. Boy knows what he's doing. This is legit. So you win? Yeah. I'm gonna need my socks. Go on, start it up. The car would run faster than that in the eighth mile. Car will run in the fives. So what's the problem? Well, either there's something wrong with that clock or he's not getting off the line fast enough. Huh. Let's run it again. Not the clock. 
I can't get my feet to react fast enough. Ah, oh, you're just having trouble getting off the starting line. That's all. Everything else is fine. Well, how am I going to fix that? I don't know. How about a hand lever system? A what? Yeah, they make something like that for handicapped drivers. I checked into it while you were in the hospital. So he'd have to start the car, stop the car, and steer the car all with his hands. Think you can handle something like that? Yeah. That could work. My legs are the problem. I don't think it's going to be as easy as you think, but... Boys, we got us some work to do. Come on! We're not going to do it here. transplant list. Shouldn't be long now. Or at least they keep telling me. Doctors. Well, you need to get out of here and come see me on the track. That's a deal. First race is tomorrow. Yes, sir. <laughs> I want to be honest, I'm excited, but I'm a little nervous, too. The adrenaline's pumping, that's for sure. Adrenaline, huh? Makes me feel alive again. There's nothing like it. Yeah, I man, how long does that feeling last? Less than 10 seconds. <laughs> well, that's a whole lot of work for 10 seconds. <laughs> it's worth it, though. Is it? Hey, I, um, I really should get going. I gotta practice and... Okay, okay, don't let me hold you back. Hey. Rain check? Rain check. Yes, sir. All right, guys. I got this under control. Let me do all the talking. All right? Okay. Sorry, I'm late, fellas. Paul Sharp. Nice to meet you. Trace Mallory. Yeah. Joseph Jenkins. Nice to meet you. Now, since this is your first official race, I want to get a few things clear, all right? Uh, before you can even get on the track, my tech has to check out your car, make sure it meets IHRA regulations. If it does, you can race, all right? Follow the rules on the track. If you don't, you will be disqualified. It's as simple as that. Simple. All right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. And all I need is your driver's signature right here, and we'll be good to go. Oh, I'm sorry. That, that's okay. I can't believe it either. See you on the track. All right. Good luck. Thanks. It's too late now. Oh, yeah. I, I got this, old man. I don't want you to break anything. Old man. Yeah. All right, rookie. I'll meet you at tech. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, you. Hey, you made it. Of course. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Oh, no, me neither. <laughs> nice set of wheels. Oh, thanks. It's a 67 Barracuda with a low block stroker. No, I, I wasn't talking about those wheels. I was talking about those wheels right there. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. <laughs> <laughs> what you all dressed up for, boy? Looks like somebody's going to race. Oh, yeah. You going to race? <laughs> He gonna shut us up on the track. Yeah. Hope you drive straighter than your legs look. <laughs> <laughs> Lock it up. You go get some rest. All right, let's call it a night. Hey, you kiddo. Look at you, all grown up. Dad. I miss you too, buddy. Listen to me, Joseph. You have always been a driven person. Disciplined. I always knew you were destined for great things. But I need you to understand something. As much as I love the sport, Racing wasn't everything to me. If all you have to live for is the next rush, 
But you, you're a car without an engine. You serve no purpose. I need you to understand what I'm telling you. Racing was a job, not my life. I love you, kiddo. Dad. <sighs> Lord, we, we thank you for this time that we have together. Thank you, Father. And Lord, we pray for special protection for our friend Joseph mm -hmm. as he pursues his dream. Yes. To you be the glory forever and ever. Amen. 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 Uh, Amen. Uh -huh. Now that's what I'm talking about right there. Cornbread? Ooh. Here you go, mm -hmm. honey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey. I'm good, I'm good. Oh, come on, nonsense. You might as well. He's going to get his way no matter what. <laughs> Hmm. J Train, thanks for thanks for coming to see me like this. It's the least I could do. So one last week oh, here, huh? My number has finally come up. <laughs> Mine too. I can't believe it. In three weeks, I'll have a chance to compete at Drag Stock Ten. Man, who'd have thought it? Not me. I mean, this is like the World Series of drag racing. I'm proud of you, Joseph. I appreciate that. Hey, Eli. Mm-hmm. You think dreams mean anything? Why do you ask? I keep having this dream. It's dad. He's at the end of a track. And I'm running. I can, I can run my legs work. And I see him and I'm going as fast as I can toward him. When I get to him, he's trying to tell me something. What's he trying to tell you? He says that I'm a car without an engine. <laughs> a car without an engine. What's that supposed to mean? What do you mean, what's that supposed to mean? A car without an engine doesn't get very far, does it? Sounds like a, a man without a purpose. I have a purpose. OK, and what is it? Glory. And isn't that enough? I mean, even without being able to walk, people look up to me now. They need to know that I can win. I give people hope. I'm someone to believe in. Spoken like a true fool. Was glory worth losing your ability to walk? I don't need this. When I first met you, I told you you had to get right, you just want to get left. You remember that? That meant you had to get right in here. But mostly it means you had to get right in here. I think your dad is trying to tell you that without God, that, that thirst, that need for that adrenaline pumping through your veins will never be satisfied. You'll always be like a junkie trying to get a fix. Why do you always do this? God. Really? I hate to break it to you, but I think God's a joke. Joseph. Listen to me. Joseph. You listen to me this time. What kind of God takes away a dad from a 12-year-old boy? You tell me that. Tell me that. If there was a God, why would he let me crash, leave me crippled, let someone shoot you? Come on. God's not running the show here. We are. We control what happens. It's our choices. And you need to start seeing that. Open your eyes and wake up. Take a look around you. God's a fairy tale. I earned all this myself. Protect him, Jesus.
Joseph Jenkins off to a rough start at Pro Outlaws. He stalls out the car right after his burnout. Yeah, let's go. I don't want a penalty. Okay. You okay? I said let's go. I don't want a penalty. Okay? Okay. All right. out there. I couldn't get off the line fast enough. Yeah, I saw that. You seem a little distracted. Oh, was I? Yeah, you're all over the track. Did you check the lane? What kind of a question is that? Did I check the lane? The right lane wasn't right. I didn't have any traction out the hole. The right lane wasn't right. A lot of people were racing in the right lane. Nobody had any problem except you. Is that what you told my dad before he ran that day? What's this really about? Responsibility. Responsibility to my dad, Josie, Trace, everybody. People are depending on me now. Is that right? Do you think this is about responsibility? Come on, be honest with yourself. What about Jason Skinner? Huh? I know it, Trace knows it. Everybody who knows you knows it. It's between you and Jason Skinner. Even your father would tell you that if he were here. Well, he's not. You made sure of that, didn't you? I'm gonna do us both a really big favor and forget you ever said that. Don't you pretend for a second you're the only person ever lost anybody. Why don't you get lost? You're pretty good at that, aren't you? Hey, guys. Hey. Where's Paul? You couldn't make it. It's weird. Yeah. I'll see you after the race, all right? Everything okay? Yeah, I'm just trying to concentrate. Okay. And here we are, final round, Pro Outlaw. Joseph Jenkins lining up against Pete Folsom. Jenkins on edge. He's got to win this one to go to Rockingham. gathered here today to celebrate the life of Elijah Benjamin Salisbury, a man whose heart gave more love and happiness Amen. than it could contain.
he would have really loved this. I wish I would have had just one more chance to say. I know. I just don't understand. I don't think we ever really do. I mean, why? Why does this have to happen to Eli, my dad? I should be the one dead, not them. But you're not. You probably is. You're going to say that's a miracle. I know this is going to sound crazy, but I think it's much more than that. There was a time I had my doubts, but I don't anymore. Why is that? I think we're all here for a purpose, and Eli served his. He spent most of his life in a hospital bed. You're missing the point. It's not about the time he spent in a hospital bed. It's about what he did with that time. I saw Eli make people laugh when they were crying. He changed them. He changed me. He changed you. His love was real and powerful and greater than all of us. Eli always said that love comes from God. Do you think that's true? I do. It's the kind of love that never gives up. It's the kind of love that Eli and your dad had for you. I want that kind of love. What's holding you back? Kiddo. Hey. Thanks for coming back. Not a problem at all. Just taking one last look. You sure you're ready to do this thing? My whole life. I just didn't think I'd get here like this. You ever see something like this and think to yourself, if this is the last beautiful thing I see, it'd be all right with me. Listen, Paul, I, I want you to know it was never your fault. Welcome ADRL Nation to Drag Stock 10 here at beautiful Rockingham Dragway, Steve Earwood's Palace of Speed. If you would, please stand, remove your caps as we sing our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the tons Go now, quickly, it's light. What's so proudly we hear? It's the national anthem. It's the same thing, Mom. The only thing that's the same is you put your hand over your heart. Yes, ma'am. It's what I thought. 
So as we get set for this first round matchup between Sean Barron and Joseph Jenkins, one can only imagine what is going through the young Jenkins' mind after all he's been through. Should be quite a day. We'll see if he can handle the pressure. Speaking of guys that can handle the pressure are Diane Godwin's with Johnny Lightning. Hello, it's Diane Godwin and I am live back on the track. Today we've seen many great races and it's almost time for us to find out who this year's new champion will be. Standing right next to me is last year's winner and top contender, Johnny Lightning. Why don't you tell us, how are you feeling at this moment? I mean, you are on the verge of winning your next championship title. Will Lightning strike twice? Well, first of all, it's very excited to be here again. Mm -hmm. uh, but you never can tell what's going to go on with this kind of talent. He is cute, Lightning. Hey, guys, like, no, he is, he is not as cute as Joseph. Oh, Come and on. you're not biased at all. No. So the wait is finally over. It is time for Sean Barron versus Joseph Jenkins as Jenkins rolls his beautiful Barracuda towards the starting line here at a packed Rockingham Dragway. All a part of the excitement here at Drag Stock 10. And this is where champions are made. This is where the nerves take over. And if you can manage those nerves and get past this round, the rest of the day could be just a little bit easier. Right now, he makes his final adjustments. He'll get set to do his burnout. Here we go, ADRL fans. Make some noise. The burnouts are complete. Jenkins will purge the nitrous and get set to traverse the eighth mile here at Rockingham Dragway. Jenkins is away green, they are both off green. Barron at the eighth mile stripe, it's gonna be Jenkins running a 537 at 129.05 miles per hour. That's what I'm talking about, come on. The young man is moving on to round number two. Next up, it's gonna be Jason Skinner taking on Jake Barner. Uh, no, this is the guy he's always talking about. What the heck is he doing there? And Skinner's away with a huge hole shot. He straps one on Barner at the finish line. It's gonna be Skinner with the easy victory. He is moving on. I don't like that boy. And the Honey Badger doing his thing right there, and that is awesome, man. You see that car? Maybe the little Mustang that's laid down the world's fastest record. Those trailers are huge, man. We're doing it, man. We are really doing it. Hey, guys. Hi. Hey, Lizzie. Nice run out there today. Hey, not too bad yourself. Thank you. Maybe one day I can run top sportsman like you. Now you're talking. Yeah, give you a run for your money. <laughs> Do you think you can handle my class? Do you teach private lessons? We gotta go, Lizzie. Come on. I gotta go. I'll see you guys. All right, see you. Good luck out there. You too. Do you teach private lessons? Seriously? That was good, man. Stop playing. Jason Skinner, how do you feel about going up against him to get into the finals? That's funny. You know, uh, the whole season I've been keeping my eye on him. I've watched him. He sort of came out of left field, mm -hmm. and he's doing real well. Uh, so I would say that uh, today's going to be a very interesting time. So up next, it's going to be Tony Cameron taking on Joseph Jenkins. Will the dream weekend continue for Jenkins? Or will Cameron move on to the final round? We are just seconds away from finding out. All the stage bulbs are lit. The green light is down. And... between rounds, but nonetheless, Jenkins going to the finals at the American Drag Racing League's premier event, <laughs> Drag Stock 10 Praise the Rock. Are you kidding me? Trace, yeah. check the intake on the heads. What's the problem? I don't know. I definitely felt a loss of power. Here, get me out of here. No, 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 no. Take a break. I'll check it out. You get focused. How do you feel about Joseph Jenkins? Joseph, um... I don't know really what to tell you, except he's been through a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I've been very impressed with him, and I'm very interested to see what he's going to do. And actually, you know, 
if I was going to say anything to him right now, I'd say, hey, Joseph, God bless you, buddy. Good luck. It's the head gasket. Either that or the head's cracked. How bad is it? I don't know. I'm going to have to pull it. How much time we got? Not enough. Your lucky socks. You got him? We got a chance. All right. Be back here. All right, ADRL fans, who's it gonna be taking on Jenkins in the championship round? Will it be Johnny Lightning, the defending champion and future ADRL Hall of Famer in his 57 Ford Thunderbird, or the young upstart, Jason Skinner in his 66 Chevy 2? Here we go. Original champion drag stock back in 2004. This is it. Yeah, it is. Thanks for everything. You're welcome for everything. Now go out there and win this thing. You got it. Please tell me it's all fixed. Let's just say we put a bandage on it. Lie to me. It's all fixed. Good job. So the Traction Twins putting the final touches on this track surface as we get set for our championship matchup. Is it going to be Jason Skinner, or does the Dream Weekend come to the ultimate end for Joseph Jenkins? They approach the water. It's burnout time at the rock. bodies to your service. Amen. I thought my life was over, but it's only now the beginning. I found the rush that always satisfies. I discovered it's not what you drive, 
It's what drives you. Cost me it all. 